Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the new V-Link Core Scan OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. Got right here. Now this can cover advanced vehicle edits and codes for wall through forward scan, which can allow for some nice mods. Like for on my car, I've modified it to think that it's a Lincoln and basically changed a few things around, like the startup screen, which I've changed to an RS from just a regular Ford. So what you want to do is you want to find your OBD2 port which is usually underneath the steering wheel and then plug it in like so. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to press this little button up the top right until that's blinking, accelerated. And then what you'll get is it should show up down the bottom, just here. And then it will send you a pair request. Like so. Pair. Now it's connected. So then what you wanna do is you wanna open your force scan app. Here you can use either light or viewer doesn't really make a difference, as well it really depends on what you want to do. So we're just going to go ahead and click connect. As you can see it's got a little green light down the bottom which shows that it's connecting properly and it's now connected to the car. So if you have a look at your log it will show the full process of what everything's what it's connected to. So just as a sample we're going to go into dashboard. I've set up some before however I can add a few more. But if we click run here you can see that if I put my foot down, the RPM will accelerate at a decent rate. Um, this can be used to monitor quite a few different modules. So you can disable them here if you want to add any. You can press plus and then there's a, a list of supported ones for... So after you select... Or you can... Yeah, after you select another one, close that down and then it will be right there on the dashboard. What you can also do is view different graphs for each of the ones you've selected. You can also scan for errors, so it will show you things like ignition input on, uh, GPS faults, like my GPS isn't working. So that's lost communication with entertainment control module, etc. So it will show you specifically what's wrong with your car. You can also go a bit deeper, and especially on the, well, mainly on the Windows version, you can go through and modify some of the car's code and change different settings to different things that you might, well, you won't usually be able to unlock without the help of a mechanic. Yeah, this is good for iOS, Android, and Windows. It connects just easily via Bluetooth through your OBD2 port and works with most for Ford, Lincoln, and some Mazda models as well. We support this. Have fun and happy coding.